one of those questions that I've been asked is, Sheila, um, if I want to collect, what should I buy? You know, um, and not what should I buy in the sense of theme, but what should I buy that's going to um, help me meet my goal of building wealth, right? And, and it, instantly I would say, of course, buy originals. Um, and some individuals would say to me, but I can't afford to buy originals. And what I would respond to them and say is, um, yes, you can. Um, there are contemporary artists that have a number of small and medium-sized originals that are very affordable. They're not priced to break the bank. They're, they're very affordable. And, you know, some artists and galleries will work out arrangements for you for paying for those originals. Um, I'm not saying not to get prints because, quite frankly, there are some prints that I have in my collection that are valued more at the originals. Um, they're older prints, and they're by some masters, um, African-American masters. So in that way, they're valued at a higher price point than originals. But I would say if you are, are, are working to start collecting or you're currently collecting, um, what to buy? Buy originals. Um, in some instances, you can also buy prints. There are different types of prints out here. There are lithographs. There are um, serographs and silk screens. There are G clays. Um, there are various types of printmaking, right? And so again, I would say do your research. But I can tell you um, tribe members or aspiring tribe members or soon to be tribe members, hey, for the amount of work or for the amount of money that some artists are charging for a print, for a remark, for artist proof, an artist proof is a print that the artist looks at to determine whether or not it's at that right um, sweet spot to go forward. A remark is an embellishment of a, of a print. For the amount of money that you're paying to acquire that work, you could buy original work. It's just that simple. Um, I, I would say the things that when you're looking at what to buy, um, study the various printmaking techniques Study, study the various mediums of original artwork, whether it's a collage or whether it's acrylic oil or whether it's acrylic paint or oil or whether it's watercolor or whether it's pen or whether it's pencil or charcoal. Study um, and, and come, become um, more learned or well-versed in the different types of medium and the different types of printmaking techniques. And that will help you to determine what to buy. When you're looking at wealth building, you really need to look at mediums, right? Um, if you want to buy a sculpture, you know, look at the difference between bronze and plaster and metal, right? Um, they, those, those are the things that determine what to buy and help you to determine value as well as the, the person that's creating the work. Talk to the artists, talk to the gallery owners, talk to the brokers and distributors and see if there is a way in which it makes it more affordable for you to buy that original. But in the, in the best case scenario, buy the originals. Again, if you need some help determining what, what type of strategy you should have for collecting or acquiring art, I would say to definitely give me a call, reach out to me, and we can talk to, um, we can sit down and talk, have a coaching session so that you'll know what the appropriate way ahead is for you.